Well, with your CIG TV News Brief and weather forecast, I'm Donna Bush. After many weeks with no confirmed COVID-19 cases, health officials are now reporting two new cases. Here's more from Chief Medical Officer Dr. John Lee. The truth is, Donna, that I'm not surprised that we've had the two positive cases that I've reported today. It's been an awfully long while that we have not had any positive cases. And yet all of that time, we've had travellers crossing the border. They could be travelling for pers essential personal reasons. They could be returning from medical trips abroad. We also have essential engineers and other essential persons that uh, pass backwards and forwards across our borders in order to provide services to the utility industry. So these people have been mixing in communities which may have had a relatively high um, presence of COVID disease. So it's not surprising that we've had these two and it doesn't alarm me whatsoever. They remain in the isolation facilities um, where they will pose no risk to the country from the threat of the spread of any um, coronavirus until such time as they're cleared, which is normally around 10 days after that the positive test is, is first noticed. And of course, thank you to Dr. Lee for that update. Well, now for weather-related news. As the experts keep a close eye on a developing weather system, local weather service meteorologist Avalon Porter has the details for us. Um, the, right now, the indication is as a wave move to the west, it should pass just over Grand Cayman or just to the south. And as a result of that, we should start seeing, expecting some cloudy, rainy conditions um, from tomorrow afternoon, maybe some in the morning. And this showers and stuff should last maybe through Saturday evening. And to keep updated on weather conditions in our area, you can go online to weather.gov.ky. And of course, you can join us later for today's weather forecasts. Well, approximately 600 educators from governments, primary and high schools attended the annual welcome event on Wednesday morning. Teachers are worth every cent that we pay them. And these were parents. I ran into them in supermarkets, churches, schools, who was asking, what time are you going to reopen these schools? I'm going crazy, I need to send my children back. Sometimes we have to lie flat, flat on our back to fully appreciate what we have. And if no one told you before, teachers, that you were indeed appreciated, let me take this time on behalf of every single person within the Cayman Islands to tell you that you are awesome. You are the unsung heroes, you are the mass, superheroes and you're part of my team. How fortunate I am. This year, teachers and officials from the schools were divided into two groups following uh, current uh, social distancing protocols. Held at the John Gray High School Gymnasium, various speakers included the Honorable Juliana O'Connor Connolly, the Honorable Dwayne Seymour, His Excellency the Governor, as well as Deputy Governor the Honorable Franz Manderson, who all welcomed the teachers to a new school year that will look very different in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. Turning now to today's forecast from the Cayman Islands National Weather Service. Today's high temperature reached 90 degrees Fahrenheit, the low 79, partly cloudy skies with a 30% chance of showers. We're expected winds uh, are light and variable and seas are smooth with wave heights of less than uh, two feet currently. Now the synopsis calls for light winds and slight seas which are expected as a result of a weak pressure rate gradient that's across the region. An upper level trough over the Northwest Caribbean will support isolated showers as mentioned earlier by Mr. Porter across our area tonight. Farther east, a strong tropical wave over the Central Caribbean, as you heard about earlier, again, will move south of the Cayman area on Thursday. Radar images show isolated showers in and around the Cayman area, which are moving towards the west. And you can download the National Weather Services app, CINWS, for the latest forecast. And that ends today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush, wishing you a safe and, of course, a wonderful night. Get the latest on what's happening in government on a daily basis. News update first at 6 p.m.